Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how I did this daily spread using Note Shelf 2. Um, this is the 2019 Digibujo by Jenny Gallen Designs in the natural uh, cover. Um, and I'm going to show you Note Shelf 2 just so you have some options because GoodNotes 5 is glitching for some people, it's not glitching for others. Um, so it's just nice to have some options, so we'll try Note Shelf 2 for this um, daily spread. Alright, so I'm going to, like usual, clear my screen so with Note Shelf, the eraser here at the top has a clear page. So here's my blank slate. You can add, using the plus sign, photos or import documents from here. Okay, I like to work with my photos this way on the side and just drag and drop. I'm going to go to my albums, planner stuff. Same way I do with GoodNotes 4 and the same way I do with GoodNotes 5. Um, you also, of course, have the option to work in GoodNotes 4, um, and I have lots of videos already made for GoodNotes 4. If you look in my playlists, you will they are sorted by GoodNotes 4 or GoodNotes 5, or if I use Procreate or not. So check out the playlists within my channel. So I'm going to look for a daily spread, drag, and drop. Okay. Now with Note Shelf, it automatically comes up to your edit mode. So you can just edit from here. And you can click edit and um, crop if you wanted to. You also have an eraser with this app that you don't have with the other ones. So I'm going to reset so it comes back to where it was and just drop it into place. Next, let's get some stickers going here. We'll start with this one. Drag and drop. Tap and edit. And I'm just going to use the typical box. Okay. Click done. And then I can rotate. And I can size. But you see it's sizing proportionally. I cannot drag the edges uh, going up and down or side to side. GoodNotes 5 lets you do that. GoodNotes 4 works like this. Okay, but GoodNotes 4 does not let you rotate. So, just different apps are going to let you do different things. Alright, there's one sticker. Let's go to the next one. Tap and edit. And I want this pink. Now, you notice my box, I can move the box, but it's not going to go any smaller than that. So instead, I'm going to click the scissors. I'm going to say no, so it stays open. Scissors. And I'm simply going to freehand what I want. Whoops, I missed a corner. Just start over. Click done. Yes. And now I can resize from here. And drop. Okay, I'm going to use my scissor tool to lasso and copy. Tap and copy. Tap and paste. Click off. Long press. And that brings up my edit tool. So I'm going to rotate it so that I have a mirror image on the other side. Okay, next sticker. So the cropping works pretty much the same way in all of these programs. Um, so that's, that's good. Bring the next sticker over. Tap and edit and you will find that the cropping works very similarly. Okay, The editing does work better with GoodNotes 5. The, the sizing of the sticker does work better in 5. 
the sizing in Note Shelf 2 works very similar to Good Notes 4. Okay, next sticker. Tap and edit. It's actually the same sticker. Sticker sheet done. Okay, same sticker again. Tap and edit. Grab the other two. Make sure they're the same size or really close. Same sticker. Tap and edit. And because they're so small, I'm going to go straight to my scissor tool because I'm pretty sure that crop rectangle is not going to be small enough. Okay, easy peasy. Tap and edit. Scissor tool. Just because they're so small. Okay, go back to this sticker. Tap and edit. Get this little banner across the top. The sticker you lay on the bottom will stay on the bottom. The sticker you lay on the top will stay on the top. And if you want to move a sticker over a sticker, just long press and you can move whichever sticker that you want. So if I want to move this top one, it recognizes that I'm touching the top one and not the bottom one. Okay? So there you go. Let's add one more sticker out of here. Tap and edit. Whoops. Edit. Use the standard box mode. Done. Okay. And drop him. Alright, so that's all I've used as far as stickers. Now you have a highlighter tool that lets you pick sizes and you have an option of a round or a square tip. You can have colors, you can add colors from a, your palette. You can add colors this way, you can add a hex code, or you can actually run through the pre-made palettes and just pick the colors you want to add and it will add them into this uh, into this palette here. Okay, so I'm going to just go back and use a standard blue that I already had and I'm going to use the shapes tool so that it straightens my lines for me and just fill in a little bit here. Now one thing to note with Note Shelf 2 is that like this highlighter is a little high if I try to cop, uh, lasso and move the highlighter it does it picks up the sticker that's one of the things I don't like about Note Shelf is you can't just pick up your text um, and your highlighter counts as text um, I'm going to have to erase that and place it where I want it because it's not going to move with my lasso, with my um, copy paste tool, which functions as a lasso. Um, if you screw up, you just have to erase. Now see my sticker moved, so the highlighter is not matching up, so I'm going to move that back where it was and and clean up my try to be more precise in where I lay my highlighter okay and that happens with um, that happens with handwriting as well if you let's just try that 
whoops, my shapes tool was on. Let's erase that and take off the shapes tool. If I handwrite something and I want to move it, the copy function is going to move my sticker. Back arrow. So I'm forced to erase and fix that that way. So that's one thing I don't like about Note Shelf. Let's try text. Double tap on your screen. And you get a box that you can move easily. This actually works better than GoodNotes 5. You have a, let's just start typing. You have a paintbrush. So you can so, um, switch out. Your purchased fonts are all in here. You can change it so long as that whole word is selected. You can change your purchased font from here. Okay. You can change the size of your font. You can change the color of your font. And you can put a little heart on it and it makes it a favorite and it lines up in here. Okay, now I already had that in there. It remembered that I, that was green, whereas my other, let me go back, rock salt in green is a favorite and rock salt in black is also a favorite. So I'm going to go ah, just long press and I can remove a favorite. So very easy to sit, to set those. Um, let's see, just double tap and you get your window back. So all of these favorites, once you select and add them as a favorite, they show up in here and those are also here for easy access. So since that's highlighted, I can change my mind very easily here and pick any of my favorited um, texts. Okay. So also you can tab, you can create check, um, check marks. Okay. Deselect to remove it. You can select dot points or numbered, uh, lists. Okay. And you can also center and do all of that. All of your tools are right here, very, very handy, and your box is sizable right here on the screen, and you notice, well, let me do this again, when I started typing, the journal moved behind it so I could see the box. Um, in GoodNotes 5, you have to move the journal this way. Here it took away my keyboard. So let's do that again. My T is still selected. I want to type down here and it moved so the box is visible for me. Okay, so it's, it's pre-selecting a green text because I, in my wrench tool, I have a default set. Okay, so you can change what it automatically starts typing in. You can change your text here you can change what color and it will and what size and it'll automatically start with that. Okay. So if I get rid of that and just start typing, it's going to remember my saved preset from the wrench tool, my default text style, okay? It just makes it very easy to arrange things and the box comes right up where it's supposed to be. So you can see exactly where it is. Very easy to position, very easy to handle. Very good options with the text tool. Your handwriting is much nicer. I do find that my handwriting is neater with no shelf too. Okay, so scissor tool to move your text works just fine unless it is over a sticker and then once you lay it down you cannot pick that text back up back arrow okay I'm forced to erase so if that bothers you that's a little thing that note shelf 2 does the other thing that note shelf 2 does is when you use your links 
I'm going to click this little arrow, this little pen tool, so that I can use my links. If I click January, you'll see that it goes fuzzy before it loads. Now GoodNotes 5 is really slow to load my pages, so I this is actually better than what GoodNotes 5 is doing for me right now. If I click on my day that I was working on, it goes fuzzy and then clears. Okay, It doesn't do that so much just swiping, but when you actually click a link, it does go fuzzy. Okay. Alright, that is Note Shelf 2. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.